Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Now, as you can see, I've taken the liberty of making it back to the throne room here already, and I've also sold my excess equipment. Uh, namely, I sold the Ice Claw, because uh, there's no more enemies that are weak to ice in the game, so these are the only claws that I'm going to hold on to for now. The Blue Fang will be useful very shortly. The Light Sword, we're not going to hold on to that for later. And uh, you want to hold on to the Light Cursons for a certain boss fight up ahead. Uh, these are the pieces of equipment that you want to hold on to. Uh, and we're going to make use of the Rat Tail along with the Legend Sword very shortly, too. So, let's report our utter incompetence to the King. Oh, you've returned. You have the last crystal, right? What? You're completely incompetent? Golbez has all the crystals. Well, no, not really. There's, there's actually 16 crystals in the game, right? I mean, <laughs> that's what they said last time, right? Our only hope is the legend of the magical ship. A ship? What? We have a huge ship already. The legend of Mysidia? What's that got to do with anything? The village elder? He's trying to revive the magical ship. And what makes this ship so magical? We must hurry to Mysidia. But we can't get there anymore, and the Tower of Babel is closed. Whatever shall we do? Who's that? Oh, Sid, he's fully recovered. He's going to attach a drill to the nose of the Falcon to get us out of the surface. Okay, that sounds like a cool add-on for an airship. That's one thing I like about this game. They have a couple add-ons for your airship, like the pickup for the hovercraft and everything. I think that's kind of cool. So now, Sid's going to rejoin our party, right? I mean, we got room for him, right? Well, let's get the drill going. And what is Edge doing up there? Hey, 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 that's my girl. Stay away. Yeah, go hit on Radio. She's legal now, I guess. I kind of like the green hair look. Well, no, not really, but... And they're fighting. <laughs> Sid be Edge? I don't think so. Edge would run circles around him. Well, anyway, finish attaching the drill. Stop screwing around, guys. Oh, no. Sid. I hope he didn't die. Oh, good. It sounds like he just overexerted himself. Oh, okay. He can't join our party. Oh, well. He can fix airships for us, though. I salute you, old man. That's kind of a backhanded compliment, isn't it? Oh, Edge can actually be remotely mature every now and then. Don't pay any more attention to this old fart. <laughs> Man, I'm 26 and I feel old. <laughs> I'm still playing games that are 15 years old. Oh, well. See. Yep, we are pretty skilled, aren't we? Okay, well, let's get out of here and make it back to the overworld. Whee! Thank you for not sending me into a random battle in one step. Now, if we could do that to get out of the underworld... Why couldn't we have done that to get into the overworld? I mean, how does attaching a drill to an airship let you drill through a mountain? How does that happen? Anyway, we don't need this airship anymore. But we do want the Enterprise. Because there's one more thing I want to do before heading to Mysidia. Uh-oh, the Tower of Babel is glowing. That doesn't look good. 
That's because Gobez has all the crystals. Hey, there's some shoals over here. And there's a little cave down there. Let's check it out. Oh, come on. There we go. This is the Adamant Cave. Let's see if we can get some Adamant for Kokuro. Found a strange ore here. And he likes to collect animal tails. Hey, it just so happens I have an animal tail. It's a rat, but will that do? Yay! We give him a tail, and he gives us a very valuable piece of metal. He wants more tails. I'll give you more information on how to get more tails later. Much later. Yes, there are more tails that we can get. Well, one kind of tail, but you can get more multiples of them. If you're extremely lucky, that is. Let's take care of the adamant right now. Fortunately, the Enterprise is already covered with mithril, so we don't need to worry about uh, going over the lava, because we can. Blacksmith Kokuro's home. Let's see if showing him some adamant will wake him up. I can't even find the legendary ore adamant. Well, I can. Ha-ha! Handed over the legendary sword... He's going to upgrade it with the adamant. Yes! No wonder they made us hold on to that thing for the entire game. Don't be so impatient. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're going to have to come back later to get a new sword. Let's make it back to Mysidia now. We have to get the magical ship to save the world. Hurry! Oh, they're already prepared for us. Come to the Tower of Prayer. Oh, at least they didn't make me walk all the way back there. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through this part. Blah, blah, blah. Pray for the coming of the light. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! <laughs> I just saw Wayne's World on TV today. It made me think of that, but I didn't feel like throwing in a clip like that. Oh no! It's Leviathan! Again! He's going to help us this time, right? Our prayers have been answered. I like this victory music. It's a little, uh, has a bit of depth to it, you know? Where'd our airship go? Well, I guess they couldn't show it for the, uh, automatic sequence here, or whatever it is. That must be the legendary vessel of light, the magical ship. Which will do what for us exactly? Okay, we got the ship. So, now what? A voice came to me. Come to the moon, Cecil. He wants to tell us about our father. The light on Mount Ordeals. Hmm. More questions to be answered. There's a crystal of flight on the magical ship. Speak to it, and I can go to the moon. So basically, we've been wasting our entire time going after eight crystals when all we had to do was get on our hands and knees and, and pray to God, and we would get the ship that takes us to the moon anyway? What a waste of time. And where'd the music go? Well, anyway. Now, before we uh, do that, there's still some things we have to do on Earth here. Well, as long as... Um, you know, um, we're back up here. We might as well, you know, tell Yang's wife about what happened to her husband. She's probably not going to be too happy about it, but, well, at least, you know, we can 
be courteous about it. Let's walk up here. Yang is underground. Yep. Onions making her eyes water. Bolshevik! Give him a good whack with this. The frying pan of love? What do, you, what do you use that? For bondage or something like that? I mean, what if the sylphs gave him a frying pan antidote? Well, okay. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Next time, I will put the frying pan of love to use somehow. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.